Hey guys, here I have my MSI GTX 1080 Ti, it's the Gaming X edition. So this is the update to my previous video which I made a few months ago now. I will be replacing the thermal paste, be measuring out the thickness of the thermal pads as most of you guys requested it. I'll also clean off the dust, as some of it as it is dusty now over the months. It's not the worst, I haven't been using it much. So let's get right to the disassembly of this card and we'll and I'll measure out the thermal pads for you. So let's get to it. So I'm removing all these screws around here, also these two. You don't need to remove the IO shield, it's just these two screws here that need to be removed. That's the heat shield. Now I move over to the IO shield. Now these four. Two connectors over there and one connector on the other side. There's one over here. I'll move the whole heatsink over. So now I got the car heatsink removed of the card. That's the heatsinks for VRAM removed. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll remove this, these two now and I'll tell you the measurements of these ones. Okay, so this thermal pad came from here. So this one is 3 millimeters. 3 millimeters. This one here. I'll put it back. I don't have any replacements. I didn't order. So now we are taking this one here. This one is about 2.5 millimeters. Right here. This is 2.5. This one over here. So on this board, there are no thermal pads except these two now. Now I'll move over to this one here. I'll put that aside. So this one here, this one is 1.4, so most likely it's 1.5 millimeters. It's 1.5 millimeter. So this one is one millimeter. This one's one millimeter. And that's all of them around here. So those are one millimeter. And this one is 1.5 millimeter. I'm not squishing it. 1.5 millimeter this one here that goes over here and as for this one it is falling apart for me and I don't have a replacement but it is as thick as this one here so this one here one millimeter as well so all of these here are one millimeter I also put up a picture right now with all the 
thicknesses on on the screen. So so that's that. And now I'll just reassemble the card, replace the thermal thermal paste on it. So now the card has been assembled. Replace the thermal paste. Should be running. Cool now. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.